with string refs condemned to the antique section of the React Museum, a vital question remains. Should we use callback refs or create ref API? The short answer is that most of the time you can safely use create ref API. Although you can always achieve the same result using callback refs, create ref API was specially crafted to simplify your experience. Consider the common case when you want to programmatically trigger focus on an element. The API is very simple. You first define a ref, assign it to the element you want to manipulate, and call focus on ref's current property. This is how to achieve the same using callback refs. Notice that although you don't need to manually create a ref anymore, the callback function ref looks less natural. But there's also an annoying caveat. Consider the following example. Now, we also trigger a re-render when the state changes. This has the peculiarity of calling the callback twice, first time with null, and then with the correct value. It means that the following would raise an error, as ref is null during the first call. You can fix this by adding a safe condition or by binding the callback to a class method in the constructor. However, it won't help if you bind directly in the render function. Notice how close to the create ref API it's become. Also, you're probably disappointed with callback refs already. Drama aside, it's clear that the React team has favored the create ref API for simple cases, which should be enough most of the time. Create ref is the winner here. To learn more about simplifying this even more with the function component and when to use callback refs, check out our blog post in the description.